As a mum to two busy toddlers, I am one of the 95% of the Australian parent population who have chosen disposable nappies over the use of reusable cloth nappies. IBISWorld states that around 5.6 million disposable nappies are used on a daily basis by Australian families. For this reason, I decided to research the inquiry question of disposable or reusable cloth nappies, which is more environmentally sustainable in Australia. I commenced my search using Google. My early research proved challenging as I struggled to find a range of Australian-based research and credible non-biased web pages. Many sites made large generalisations and tried to influence the reader to purchase items advertised on their sites. I was able to overcome this issue once I started searching with Google Scholar and linking it to the Curtin University Library. I then advanced my search to include peer-reviewed articles and journals. I found that using the Boolean method of using OR and including the term diapers in my search field allowed for a larger strike rate from international sources. So what were my findings? I discovered that there are a number of raw materials that go into the production of a disposable nappy, including synthetic polymers, wood pulp, and non-woven fabric consisting of plastic resin, such as nylon, polyethylene, or polyester. It also takes one cup of crude oil for the manufacture of a disposable nappy. Reusable cloth nappies are comprised predominantly of cotton, a renewable source. Manufacturers are also turning to bamboo as it has a rapid rate of regeneration and due to this can be a more sustainable choice to cotton. The amount of solid waste produced in the lifespan of a disposable nappy was found to be 20 times that of a reusable cloth nappy. Disposable nappies are known to be the third largest individual element of urban solid waste. A child in disposable nappies will produce one tonne of waste for every year they wear them. A disposable nappy can take up to 500 years to decompose, signifying that every nappy ever produced is still in existence today. The environmental factors to be aware of when laundering reusable cloth nappies were the temperature in which the nappy is washed, what type of washing machine is being used, and whether or not a clothes dryer is used to dry the nappy. My research led me to conclude that reusable cloth nappies are a more environmentally sustainable choice than their disposable counterparts. Users of reusable cloth nappies have a greater level of control when it comes to the impact of their nappies. By soaking their nappies in grey water, washing them in cold water in a water efficient front loading washer, only washing full loads and line drying proved to be the most sustainable methods. Families who reuse cloth nappies for more than one child also lessen their overall impact on the environment. It isn't all bad news for the great majority who are disposable nappy users. The New South Wales government recently granted Relevit, a recycling company, $1.3 million to contribute to the construction of a recycling plant dedicated to recycling used disposable nappies, incontinence and feminine hygiene products. This demonstrates that the New South Wales government is actively looking to reduce the amount of reclaimable waste that is directed into Australian landfills. I would like to further investigate the possible recycling options for disposable nappies and how this could be successfully implemented into everyday Australian lifestyle. So how can you make a difference at home? Parents who currently choose to only use disposable nappies could look into the using reusable cloth nappies in conjunction with disposables or incorporate more nappy free time at home, lessening the overall amount of disposables they use on a daily basis. This inquiry topic would be best suited to upper primary and year seven students, as the disposable nappy production and life cycle assessment studies will require a deeper understanding of the subject that senior students will be able to encapsulate best. It ties to the science curriculum through science inquiry skills and science understanding.